In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix this arm for the awning that, remember, it came away from the wall and it got bent. I wanna show you how you can do it yourself, quick and easy. So let's go ahead and play the intro and then we'll show you after that. So in this video, we're going to show you how to fix this arm that it pulled away from the wall. The lag bolts actually came apart the first top two. In fact, I'm going to show you the video when we bought the RV within 24 hours what happened to us. Check it out. Today is the first day of owning an RV and so we got a welcome of new ownership and that is going to be going to my how-to channel is this so last night it rained it had water on the awning and when this morning we were about to leave it was like no let's just go ahead and make sure the awning is in and it pulled out so that's going to be in our how to fix an awning that comes away from the rv so the plan is either to use bigger lag screws uh, bigger screws wider ones or if not uh, a bolt with a nut and a plate on the inside. So we'll see which one's going to be. Well, there Ultimately, you go. Ultimately, I'm going to show you how we straighten it out and then how we replace this piece because it was broken here and then how to set it in order to be tilting. See, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six holes and then this one's set up on the third the other side is set up all the way to the last one so it can tilt. But you got to do it for awnings that are 12 feet or over. There you go. So what we're going to do is take this housing off. Now, this housing, you need to squeeze it here, somewhere here and here in order to undo it actually you can actually almost see it right there and then up top of here you need to squeeze two in order to get this apart so it's just two pieces so we're squeezing the back one you guys can see that There it is, a little bit of string. So as you can see, there is one little nipple there, the one on either side, and then you got the two holes on top. So you see you would squeeze the guys in the back to release here, and then you squeeze the one in the back in order to get this out. So what you're gonna do is, you can, can see it right there. That's just kind of pushes down kind of hard right here I push these two down this is kind of stiff this is connected to that plastic and then it's pushed back and then there it is loose you got a couple of them down here I'm gonna push this away in order to get this out I'm gonna push here there it is so now so you see you got these two that's where we squeeze in the back then you got these two and that's what we kind of push down and then you got these guys here that's where we kind of push down from the inside and that's how this thing goes And that's how that gets mounted this here it just simply it's mounted the motors on the other end so I'm gonna get a rope tie this to the other side in order to maintain it up here and then we're gonna slide this guy you can see how that slides out so once I push this out then this the rope that I'm gonna hang here like it's gonna cross over it's gonna hold on 
to this here tightly and then I'll have access to this. I, you do want to tie this up because of the, uh, the shock that's in here. If I was to undo this, this thing would just pop right open towards me and who knows, probably even knock me down. So I'm going to put a tie wrap here or rope in order to kind of release it little at a time. I'm getting one of these carabiners. This is about a 300 pound carabiner. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through the hole. Now, I'll be able to put my rope to hold on to that. All I really want is to hold on to this awning as I open it up. So here you go, you see I have this locked to this rope so it won't come any further my way. Probably should have made it a little bit tighter but I'm good there so it won't come all the way. I open up the awning, I tie the rope here so it won't come any further my way because I am going to eventually let it dangle and then I'm going to tie it up closer. So you see this little, there's this little clip there's this little clip right here. Well, that's like a, a lock washer through here. I'm going to pull this out and then that will detach this from this arm. I'm going to use a flat screwdriver to try to push it out. There it is. So there's that piece right there. Kind of locks it in place. So now this should come out. Yep, it's coming out. So I'm gonna get this guy ready just to tighten her up a little bit more than what it is now. Okay, so here we go. There you go. I'm gonna take this. It's gonna wrap it one more time. You need to be careful that you don't have it come loose. So there you go. I find that that's being supported. And I'm going to go ahead and tie it off here. I think it's being supported right there. So now I'm going to give my attention to this rope here. Remember there's that spring there. So what I want to do is little by little just give it some rope. So see I'm exposing the nuts right there. I'm going to be getting to those nuts so I can just going to pull this whole thing off of here. clamp it before I take that last bolt. So the clamp is off. I'm going to take this rope out of here so it won't get entangled. So I'm going to make sure that I have a hole of this guy. But all they had, that's about an inch long, inch long lag bolt, and it's about a quarter inch. It's like, to hold all that weight, it's just not enough. So, what I got here is, not only I'm going to put this tape on there 
to prevent it from leaking, but I upgraded the bolts between this bolt and that bolt. So I'm doing inch and a half by three eighths. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten out the frame and I'll show it to you when I'm done. So you see this frame, just to kind of give you an idea and how I straighten it. So I had the two by four and I ended up screwing the track to that two by four, leaving that whatever was bent out about this much. Then I ended up using this, these two palm trees as a focal point or leverage. So I ended up putting the piece that I was bending here and I used the two by four, just kind of bent it this way in order to straighten it out. Because again, it is extrusion and it would have been very difficult to just to hammer it out. And if you look, you can barely see where it's at. You actually have to feel it to see where I bent it. It's just being creative, thinking out of the box and it's working great. I went ahead and did some things off camera because it was kind of hard to do with uh, just only one hand. So here we go, just to kind of show you. I think you can see it there better. I caulked the bolts and I added more bolts. I think I added like four more bolts of one inch and a half. So I got it all tied up. As you can see how I straightened it all out. Somewhere around here was some, somewhere around here was the bend. You know what? I can't tell a whole lot. Ah, right here. So here's where it was bending out. I can feel it. So it's hard to see. So that's a good thing if it's hard to see. So I got it tied up there with this tie wrap. So like that, that shock won't push it out. So I'm going to go ahead and order this piece. So this piece goes at the one end and you can see it right here at the tip. But let me see if I'll do it this way better. Yeah, see that tip broke from this side and they both had wheels. And that wheels is what guided through that track. And you can see on that side how it broke in half and uh, this one was already broken. So what I'm gonna be doing is ordering this piece, insert it back in, it just pops in with these two. There is one rivet that I gotta put in so this won't slip out. And then we're good to go. So there you go guys. Uh, once I get the part, I'll put it back on video, show you how to put this piece, but it's real piece of cake. So I'm glad it turned out as good as it did. We'll get back with you. So this is the old piece. Remember that we we're talking about that this is what broke. Look, this is a new piece, and you can see how it is. It came with this quick release, exactly the same. The part numbers are the same, so it worked out pretty nice. And then this gets these little plastic bearings that slides along the track. It also came with a rivet. Remember I had to drill the rivet out in order to remove this and the rivet is just mainly in a, an additional secured piece from having this coming out of the track even though you have this already. I don't have a pop rivet with me but I'll hang on to this whenever I go back to my storage I'll get to my pop rivet gun and put it on but it's again it's a secondary cautionary from having this popping out. Okay so one of the first things I want to do is right here I'm gonna cut the tie wrap out because this is what's supported from popping it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. And I'm holding on to it. Whoa! Go. Ah. Make sure. There you go. Ha. Just wanna make sure I didn't hit that lip up there. So this is what I did. Now I'll be able to show you, I put silicone on there just to give it another, uh, let me see, second layer of protection with water leaks. So I added, I added a couple of more lag bolts, as you can see, it's got 
three up there, two that's five. You got these three that are six, seven, eight, nine. I added nine just to give it that strength. And also I want to let you know that I put a pencil mark on either side before I remove this, just so I know where to line it back up when I install it back again to have it in the right place. So as I put it in here, I want to make sure that this is clear along the track. Right here. Okay. I believe this is where it was bent, but I'm not sure if it's going to reach that high. So I feel just a tiny bit of resistance right here. So I'm going to fix this edge a little bit more. So, I'll be right back. so these are my favorite vice grips. I've had this for, my goodness, I think going on 40 years. <laughs> and I use it in aviation, they're great. So I believe this is gonna work great. Do you ever use area. the duck pliers? The duck pliers? Yeah. I do have a set of duck pliers. Don't, don't, they got their name from when you open it up, it goes quack, quack, <laughs> like this. It's probably because it doesn't have enough grease. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so says our neighbor next door. Yeah. So we could use the duck pliers and you'll see why, but let's go ahead. We love oh, that insight. I just need a little bit of just a tweaking here, just a hair. So I'm just going to, just a little bit. So this is where it got bent. And right now I'm feeling it's just a little right here. Let's see here if we can, there you go. Oh, okay, I see it. I see it right here. It's in, it's pinched in, so it's not really here. I can see it right here and right here to here. I'm just gonna bend this out. And bend this out, right there. All right, let's see if that did the trick. So now let's try it and see. Ah, that did it. See, it's a little bit smoother. What it was, it was just buckle in because remember when this thing got bent, it bent inwards. Is that it? Go little by little. Okay. Just for added safety, I'm going to put it around this carabiner that I have here. Just kind of hold it in place. Now, there's this safety pin. This one here that I need to take off. And now I'm gonna go to hold on to this guy. Okay, so what I need you to do, Ken, is extend the awning just about until I tell you when to stop. Okay, hold on. Okay. Did you push Listen. the right button? Listen, I do that best. I push your buttons very easily. Look, see I just go like this and bam, I push your button. This is what I have to deal with for the rest of my life. <laughs> You'll never Unbelievable. Be You'll never hey, I got be See Wayne? This is what I gotta deal with. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see here, we kind of extended it out. The reason we extended it out is so like that we can move this arm out in order to get it into that uh, the pin. Now that it's in the pin, now that the pin is there, I gotta add this little safety pin, remember that came around the back. That's it. Boom. 
See how it just snapped right in there? Right here, it just snapped right there. So now that won't come apart. So now what we're gonna do is take this rope off in order to have it extend by operating the switch. So let's see how it works. I'm gonna leave it off. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. So now, Ken, it's the moment of truth. I get to push more buttons? Get to push more buttons. I'll stand back about 30 feet. Yeah, before, yeah, right? yeah. Right. No, not that button. Not that button? No, I'm just kidding. No, go ahead. Come on. Come on. So we can see how that's operating there, nice and smooth. So you see right here, it's just, it didn't pass that section that was in question, but we're still okay. Well, everything looks good from this side. So let's go ahead and put a lag bolt on the other side just to make sure that we're good. We were just talking about how in the animal world, the male's always the better looking one. They don't need no makeup. Right, Wayne? Right. We don't need makeup, right? No, we don't need makeup. We just kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have been enjoying this segment here. All I have to put is the cowling on this here, on either side, which is snaps in. Okay. Remember, it was the two hooks here first, and the two hooks here in the back get snapped in and then it gets snapped in here so we're good to go all right so I think what I want to do have this open just enough it's kind of windy today guys so I'm gonna have it open just enough so I can put a screw on the, that other end so Kim can you open it up one more time and I'll tell you when to stop the other way stop Now I have a piece of mine that we got a longer lag bolt securing this frame. So now what we're going to do is, not on a windy day, just clean this awning out because it's been rolled up for what, over four months. So we'll go ahead and find a solution to clean this out. Uh -huh. And so what we want to do also is go on the manual in order to find out how much tilt can we set it and store it without having any issues? You gotta look in the manual because short awnings, you're not allowed to tilt it because it can mess it up. But because this is a longer one, you are allowed, so I just gotta go back to the manual just to see uh, how much tolerance of an angle I can do that. And I want it to have it taper this side so it's not towards the door. So if it does rain, it tapers that way. That makes sense. It's really easy, guys. Uh, and then calling with the manufacturer and uh, getting the pieces in order to replace this. And especially because you're going to consult the manual. Wow, that's amazing. This time. <laughs> we all know. We all know how guys don't like to read the manuals. Uh, hopefully, this helps in how to fix one of these awnings to make it work again. So don't forget, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I looked at the manual and they said any awning that's under 12 feet, when it comes to setting of these pins for a pitch should not be done anything under 12 feet because it can damage the arm. But anything over 12 feet, you can adjust these pitch and leave it be, but no more than three notches. 
So you don't want to set this three notches different than the other one. The other side is on the fourth hole. So we brought this arm down, so we maximize it. So that'll be one, two, three, no more than three. So we're gonna pitch it like that. We're gonna make sure these, are, these pins are in. So now it gives it that little pitch. Just the one little tip I wanna give you. When it comes to this arm, remember had the little spring loaded, uh, the spring action here, and this what is what's gonna set the pitch. Well, I ended up replacing the old one that this one had for this new one, and simply because the new one, this little thing wasn't sticking long enough, it wasn't sticking out long enough, so the other one was about maybe an eighth of an inch longer. So it made me feel more secure whenever you set it and it sticks out with no problem. So just kind of FYI, a little tip where if you are deciding to replace this, that uh, just use the old one. Yeah, listen, we're gonna have fun and we're gonna try different, do different things. I got different ideas. Right now in the middle bunk, uh, one of the th uh, thinking is uh, to make a Murphy bed to get rid of the bunk and then to get rid of the sofa that's there and create a Murphy bed in that section uh, in order to gain the room and then have somebody as a guest to stay there. Well, um, I'm going to move on to the next project. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up.